Our session at 3GF deals with a rather complex issue, the question of how do we create enabling frameworks at the international level on trade and investment that will make the scale-up of renewable energies possible. We need to make sure that the technologies that are required, the goods and services for this scale-up, to make sure that access to energy, that energy security and that mitigation of emissions from energy supply are really attended to uh, is possible. So intergovernmental action, action by governments, is what is necessary at this stage. But it will not happen without a broad coalition of support of stakeholders, particularly the industry, but not only the industry that generates the goods on renewable energy, also the power companies, the financial institutions, and any company in the world which is concerned with production facilities uh, that will find a large footprint on the provision of energy, on energy supply. We had uh, the head of UNIDO, who is heading the UN effort on energy and access for all, who has promised to take this initiative to governments in Africa on some very specific uh, opportunities as a result of this discussion. We had the president of the World Resources Institute, who has great uh, experience on putting together public-private partnerships on large questions like this one who is also going to help us with communicating the messages, with really adapting uh, this effort so that it can be supported by a broader coalition. We had the head of the Global Growth Institute who is focusing on generating the data, the analysis that would give the responses on jobs and impacts on the economy of this scale up and the, and the energies. N not least, we had the CEO of Vestas, one of the leading companies uh, on the provision of these technologies, uh, who's concerned about developments in the markets, the, the policy changes, the, those obstacles that con start appearing all over the world, develop and developing countries. And Minister uh, Pia uh, Olsen from Denmark, uh, who has been a great advocate on policy reform in the European level, but also at the global level. And so we, it, has, it was an excellent session that came out with very good specific recommendations on how we move forward on various tracks, both at the policy level as well as with respect to the support of those stakeholders. Generally, everybody supports this idea, support that there is very difficult, it's very difficult not to, but the details is really what is going to make this possible or not. So the conclusions are of great support, and then as I was saying, some agendas very specific on research and analysis, on communications, on reaching out to new partners, on uh, putting the, the issues on the agenda of government, on pushing the government tracks. Well, we are on a, in a continuum here. We launched this initiative at 3GF in 2011, and since then there's been an incredible amount of work to move it forward. And so we will continue in that rhythm. But now, with this new input from today, we would enrich the initiative with these other agendas and these other ideas. Uh, the, the 3G app is a great opportunity to bring together constituencies at a very good level, at the top level of decision making, uh, and to have the conversations with the public sector, particularly, and the governments that are required to really advance these issues. And I think the environment that is provided here is a particularly conducive environment to good dialogue and to good cooperation moving forward. It needs to systematically happen. The fact that it's now every year makes all this much more possible. The need to come back and review and check on what we're doing and see where we go next is what's going to make 3GF in the long term really a success.